protocol, which I'm naming Respiratory Recovery, comes from my personal rush to recover from this year's flu twice. The protocol simply oxygenates the lungs. It's really easy to do, even if you're sick, because it doesn't require exertion beyond just holding your breath. I'm going to demonstrate the protocol for you here, and then I'm going to explain how and why I believe it works. Go ahead and start your Livo2 system and let it fill for at least 30 minutes. It doesn't matter whether you've got adaptive contrast or Livo2 standard, and it does not need to be completely full. To do the protocol, set your system to plus O2 so that you're going to be breathing oxygen. Next, you take your face mask and you just put it to your face and take the deepest breath of oxygen that you can. Now, if that deep breath of oxygen caused you to cough, that's okay. Go ahead and cough. The force of the cough will also help to push oxygen into your lung tissue. Just don't count this as one of your 10 breaths. I'm going to do this all at the same time. So I'm going to take my deep breath, hold it in my lungs, and pressurize. Here we go. You hold the pressure in your lungs as long as you can, and then you let it go. And then after you've done that, you rest until you feel like you can do it again, and then just repeat the process 10 times. Doing this repeatedly will help your body overcome what I call the mucus barrier effect, which makes it harder for your body to absorb oxygen while you have a lung infection. Just think about it. Your body sent many immune cells to your lungs to fight the infection. And while they're in there fighting, they create a lot of waste, which you experience as phlegm that, you know, basically forms a thin barrier that makes it hard for oxygen to move from the air sacs into the lungs and into the blood. You know, the existence of this barrier reduces the oxygen not only in your lungs, but your whole body. This explains why, for example, when you, you have a cold or a flu and you do a pulse oximeter, you'll see that your level is lower than normal. For example, mine measured about 88% down from a normal of about 96. Our immune systems need oxygen, so anything that interferes with oxygen delivery, particularly where there's an infection, is going to suppress the immune system. The barrier effect is immune suppression. Inhibited oxygen absorption deprives the immune cells in your lungs of the oxygen they need to fight your infection. The effect is one reason why it's so hard for most people to recover from a respiratory infection and why these infections tend to last so long. This protocol works because the extra pressure that we created while we had really rich oxygen in the lungs forces that oxygen through and past the mucus barrier to reoxygenate the lungs. The immune system living in the lungs trying to do the job now has more oxygen to work with in fighting your infection. Now, we've known for years that an oxygenated cell has about 19 times more energy to do work than an unoxygenated cell. This recovered energy in the immune cells in your lungs helps your immune system work better so you'll recover faster. Now when you finish the protocol, your blood oxygen level will probably be very near normal. At sea level, this will be about 96%. Um, but your blood oxygen levels will only stay normal for a few minutes because that barrier that got created by the phlegm from your immune system will come back really soon and the, it'll start to interfere with oxygen absorption as soon as you finish the protocol. But what's important is that the pulse of your oxygen that your immune system gets while you're doing the protocol will help the immune system work better for quite a while. Because the protocol is so easy, it's not strenuous, it's really easy to repeat. And there's no real limit to how many times you can repeat it in a day. You know, in my case, while I had my flu, I personally did it four to six. And I did it whenever I felt like I was getting weaker instead of stronger or when my PO2 got down to about 88%, which
which is my clue to say, okay, I'm probably not oxygenating my lungs very well and my immune system in there could use a boost. I prioritized publication of this information as a public service when I discovered that this year's flu season had become what they call an epidemic. I felt it was important to expand our customers' awareness of how LIVO2 oxygenation can help you during a health challenge. And it also seems that what I call the barrier effect is completely unrecognized in medical literature. I couldn't find any medical reference that su suggests that the act of pushing more oxygen in the lungs through the mucus while you have a cold or flu would in any way be beneficial. Yeah, but my point is, it's too simple not to work.